Okay, so what we want to do is use two mics, you know, just because it ends up being a much better kind of sound. Make sure I check the pattern and not mess up. So we'll get one down here out in front of the bridge. Woke up this morning feeling round for my shoes. No by then I must have had them walking blue. The you know cello was recorded, you know, into two channels of the spider directly in the Pro Tools. No processing, no compression, no EQ. And, and it just turned out that acoustically in the room and the mic placement, you know, it really worked pretty well. The vocal mic because, because of so much dynamic range involved with the vocal, I did some gentle compression while I was recording, actually using the tracker compressor in sort of a air optical mode, you know, and maybe six, seven dB of compression on, on, the, on the louder parts and what she was doing. And, and this, you know, generally helps her a little bit, and it, and it also helps, you know, from the whole recording aspect of it, because Cheryl has a just tremendous dynamic range, and if you let her go, it's gonna, be very difficult to deal with. Now the worst odd feeling that I've ever had. <laughs> what I do with this is I run the cable and tie it into a critical point inside of what, where I want to make a measurement and then when I have audio running it actually captures the envelope for me and I know like clipping will be at this point and this point so I can, with audio in a normal operating mode, I can find out, okay, where is clipping? As a gear designer, what, what I always ended up doing was, well, I have a, a, a working prototype of some sort, but I you know, don't have numbers on the dials. And what you have to be able to do is okay, I'm gonna fix this bass thing or this vocal thing or guitar, you gotta reach over and turn that knob and does it feel right and can you quickly turn that knob and have the sound become what you want it to be. If you gotta spend a lot of time going back and forth, maybe the range of the control is not good. You know, if your whole useful range is between zero and one on the knob, uh, it's not gonna be very useful. So you kind of have to get the controls to work so they feel right. And you know, one of the dangers is, of course, is too many controls or not enough controls to get you the right you know, flexibility that you need out of things. You, you have to listen to what people say, but you also have to go, does this really work when you're under fire in a session? Where the knob ends up pointing or how the whole piece of gear feels ends up being a very important thing.